Halo, ini kenalin dulu. Halo, ini Adisti, Anggra ini. Iya bener banget, kita sekarang lagi di di depannya Eiffel Tower. I mean, look at the line. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to take you to the Eiffel Tower with me and with my friend. She is Indonesia, but she lives in the Netherlands and now she is visiting Paris. So we are going to meet her and I'm excited to introduce her to you guys and also take you guys to the famous Eiffel Tower. So in this video, you will be hearing me calling her by her name and also an additional title which is Kaka it basically translate as older brother or older sister well it doesn't mean that they are your relatives and it doesn't mean that they are your actual blood sister and blood brother but it is used to address someone who is older than you and it depends also on which part of Indonesia you are so that is really interesting and I called my friend Ka Adisti Ka stands for Kaka and Adisti is her name so you will hear me always calling her with the title Ka Adisti also in this video I will be talking in both English and Indonesian is Indonesian because me and Ka Adisti are Indonesian and we usually just talk Indonesian and or English So Ka Adisti here is so Ka Adisti is visiting Paris for her business trip for a couple of days and we decided to meet up. It's really it's really funny because me and Ka Adisti we both live in the Netherlands but we live in different city and it's not so close to each other. So now we decided to meet in Paris and then we're going to meet in her hotel then we're going to the Eiffel Tower. I'm so excited to show you guys the real Eiffel Tower. Halo, ini kenalin dulu. Halo, ini Adisti, Anggra ini. Iya bener banget, kita sekarang lagi di di, bawah, di depannya Eiffel Tower. Nah di sini kita ketemuan ya tiba-tiba. Kakak di sini kerja berapa lama nih jadinya? Stay Jadi ya? dua hari aja sih, mm -hmm. karena ada kerjaan di kantor sini. Aku sebenarnya di Amsterdam kerjanya. Terus lagi ada kerjaan di kantor Paris, uh, cabang ya. Terus pas kebeneran deket banget sama Nara Eva. Terus aku ingat si Wulan kan tinggal di Paris iya, kan. Iya, kita kira ya. tadi malam DM DM-an terus ya udah di situ deh kita ketemu. Langsung banget, langsung banget ya enggak ada. Langsung. Gak ada pending pending. Kalau gitu. <laughs> Benar kalau enggak jadi. Jadi jadi. jadi Benar banget. Kalau terlalu matang kadang-kadang mendingan yang begini malas spontan jadi. Langsung jadi. Dan lagi gitu. pas banget. Sekarang bulan Mei tapi udah kayak bulan Juni ya udah panas banget sebenarnya enak banget nih nih tunggu ini piknik pakaiannya kayak udah kayak ya, summer kan? ya kak ya, ya. pakai kacamata ya kan uset nah, malam ya teman-teman udah jam nih. 8 loh iya udah jam uh. 8 udah dinner ya udah malam ya, tapi kalau di sini kan bebas ya <laughs> iya nih orang-orang piknik nih makan snack snack hmm, kita ya udah duduk aja nih pakai sarung sarungnya bulan ini bagus <laughs> ya. ya ini tips kan? yang bagus teman-teman kalau ke Paris tips ya kalau ke Paris jangan lupa bawa sarung bener ini nih kayak sarung pantai biar, kan biar nggak basah nih kan bener. kotor terus kadang-kadang kan si uh, si rumput masih basah uh -uh. bun gitu ya iya makanya nih kalau mau duduk-duduk di pinggir-pinggir mana aja bisa nih pakai sarung So after the Eiffel Tower, we wanted to eat some dinners. So we decided to go to a famous restaurant that is probably around a hundred years. But don't at me. I don't know the exact fact, but I believe it's in the 18th century. I think it's called Bouillon Restaurant or something. So on our way there, still in the Eiffel Tower, we were like a little bit hungry and then we saw like this stand and we thought it was a food truck because we saw like you know a typical food truck and then they have some tents and people were actually eating there and also it was just um taking some food from the truck and then we approach it oh yeah and then Kadisti asked like um excuse me sir we would like to see the menu <laughs> and then he said i'm sorry but you guys cannot eat here because this is a film set You guys, I'm like, I don't mind being a free camouflage in the set. Like, just take me. Yeah, ini ternyata we're like in a movie set. 
Terus Kak, Kak Dita gimana? Can we see the menu gitu? You wanna apply to be a cameo, you know? Seconds lewat, gak boleh, tapi... Iyi, gak boleh. Well, I asked, of course, right away, is it Emily in Paris? And then he said, no, it's not Emily in Paris, and I cannot tell you what it is. So I'm really curious what kind of movie they're filming there, because I might as well be in the movie as a camouflage. So we took the metro to the restaurant, and this is Kat Adisli's first time going with the metro in Paris. And this is how the metro station looks like. I barely record on metros because it is dangerous. Gimana kak? Naik metro jadi Parisian ya? Lupa, lupa mau masker ini ada masker kamu di tas. Oh udah. So here we are in Paris's famous restaurant Bouillon Chatier. Okay, so after that we went to this restaurant. It was crazy as in the line you guys it's crazy the line li literally when you arrive in the restaurant you guys will see lines but then, then the lines aren't like long like this they're literally like this so that's it's crazy and then so the line starts from outside of the restaurant and then you kind of like go to the receptionist and then again all the way outside and then and then also there's like a hallway and then you guys have to wait there so that is literally like like that and then you have to wait in front of the restaurant i mean look at the line people really wanted to go here and it is famous for its restaurant and also its history so i have to go here but the restaurant is amazing i mean like i really love the interior i keep looking at, at the ceiling and the service was very fast um with all those lines i didn't wait more than 30 minutes or maybe like around 30 35 minutes and then i already got a table but since it's really packed we had to share our table so we were only with the two of us and then we shared it with another lady and also her daughter you can see that it is really really crowded and that makes more sense why we need to share our table At first was like, well, it's okay, but it was just so new to me. Like I have never had this experience before. The waitress and the service was really fast and the food is really delicious. Me and Kaadisti ordered the same thing. We have steak. I finally give myself another try to eat escargot and this time I like it. <laughs> so you have you have to open it like this, Kat. <laughs> Here am I, trying another escargot. Keras juga ya. Makanya kan, pakai tangan some dessert i think uh, adisti had some egg custard something like that egg custard caramel and i have the chocolate mousse and it was amazing the best thing is that it is affordable compared to any other restaurant in paris this restaurant is affordable the main course starts from nine euros until 12 euros if i'm not mistaken and also for you guys who's visiting paris definitely come here it is worth it so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoy and you guys should definitely visit the eiffel tower and also this restaurant so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye